So let's look up the, the word probiotic so we can find out what foods give us, I mean, what foods fall into the category of probiotics. Oh, probiotic yeah. foods. All right. Kimchi. Kimchi. Sauerkraut. Kefir. Tempeh. I eat tempeh. Kombucha. Kombucha. Yogurt. Yogurt. <laughs> Something you recognize, right? Miso. Pickle. pickle cucumber. 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 Sourdough. Miso, miso soup. soup. I had that before. Yeah, I was going to say I Wait, had that. Wait, that chocolate. Mm -hmm. Dark chocolate. <laughs> Look, you getting you surprised to see that it's dark chocolate on there? Like what? Cottage cheese. All right, let's see if we go to this Probiotic. eleven pro biotic that foods that are super healthy. All right, live microorganisms have health benefits. That's what I always heard about with um yogurt. That yogurt had those um probiotic, those healthy bacteria in it better looking skin you get good looking skin so yogurt is at the top of the list and you like yogurt right yeah you love yogurt i was just about <laughs> to have one you're just about to have one <laughs> yeah you love i it. have one each day so read that yogurt is one of the best sources of probiotics which are from the bacteria that can improve your health it's made from milk that has been formed by friendly bacteria mm -hmm. many la lactic mm -hmm. Acid bacteria and bifid bacteria. That's good. Eating yogurt really is good. associated with many health benefits, including improved bone health. Good. It's also beneficial for people with high blood pressure. So that means yogurt is pretty good, right? Mm-hmm. Now I like other forms of yogurt. Additionally, I don't do dairy. Yogurt may be suitable to people with lactose intolerance. This is because bacteria turn to the lactose and to lactic acid, which is also why yogurt tastes sour. Mm -hmm. It doesn't taste sour here, though. Like, well, you know how if you eat um, Greek yogurt that doesn't have a flavor? See, you always get the yogurts. You always eat the yogurts with flavor. But you know how you get the plain Greek yogurt? Yeah. That has a little bit of a sour taste. So the first one was yogurt. The, the second brown one is... One's like, um, the banana and stuff, those mm -hmm. don't have flavor. Oh, they don't? Yeah. It's great kefir. It doesn't really have flavor. So, um, I never heard of kefir before. Kefir? It's a probiotic milk drink. It's I want to see what, what reject, reject chocolate is. Sauerkraut. Do you like sauerkraut? Yeah. Yeah, I like sauerkraut. Too. Mildly. I didn't used to like when I was a kid. I didn't like sauerkraut. This is how much I like it. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, I didn't like sauerkraut at all. But now, since I became an adult, for some reason, now I like it. It tastes good to me. It tastes weird to me. Yeah, tempeh is number four. I eat tempeh. Kimchi. All right, you said you wanted to read the dark chocolate, right? Pickles. Yeah. Pickles. We like pickles, don't we? Yeah. Um, they didn't have it in. <laughs> They left off dark chocolate. You really wanted to see that. I think you wanted to have a just have a reason to eat more chocolate. Oh. No. No, not really. No, I just wanted to see. You why. wanted to see what it right why? Yeah, I can bet that. I did too. All right, let's see. Let me go back. Make sure I didn't skip it. Wait a minute. Let me make sure. Mm, buttermilk. Buttermilk. Pickle. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kombucha. Wait, I like kombucha. I love good. kombucha. Let's read about kombucha. Kombucha. And see, and see why. Go. Is a, kombucha is a fermented black or, or, green, tea or green tea drink. This yeah. popular tea is fermented by friendly community of bacteria and yeast. This is consumed oh. in many parts, right? Many parts of the world, especially Asia. Mm -hmm. Asia. Mm -hmm. The internet. A balance with claims about the potential health effects of kombucha. kombucha. I like kombucha too. So they had dark chocolate. Let's see. I'm a, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in dark probiotic, choc and then I'm gonna put in dark, dark chocolate. Yeah. Dark poop. Is it probiotic dark poop? I know. <laughs> I wonder what that is like. No, that's some. Hold on, let's see. 
While, ch while dark chocolate contains key vitamins and minerals, researchers attribute its superfood status to our gut microbes. According to researchers, friendly gut bacteria break down and ferment the compounds in dark chocolate as mentioned in the above infographic. Dark chocolate is a probiotic food. All right, so let me ask you. Now, I don't want to look at what the road for that P O O P E. So, um, I wonder if mommy likes dark chocolate because of the probiotic benefits. Maybe you should go ask her. Can you go ask her if that's why she likes dark chocolate? Mommy, I'm not recording you, but this is a question. Why do you like dark chocolate? I like dark chocolate because it has more antioxidants. I was about to say, okay, that's a wrap, mommy. She said um, she likes it because of all the antibiotics. That was fun. That was fun learning about that. And now I'm not doing plus. Right, not this time. You usually are 100,000 times a day, though. There you go. That's that flaw dance that I know. The gumball face is flawed. <laughs>